Importing that sensor panels in the Ada 64 doesn't always go as planned. Sometimes when you expect the panel to look like this, it turns out looking more like this. But I have a way to fix it. Who does he think he is? I just told you who I thought I was. Ollie Oxen. I just told you. That's who I think I am. Now, I'm assuming you already have experience with Ada 64, and if you don't, check out the video card up here and it'll explain what I'm about to talk about in depth. Now, Ada 64 allows you to create a custom layout and then export that layout to be theoretically used on another machine. However, depending on the scaling of the monitor on which the original panel was created, you could run into issues depending on the scale and resolution of the monitor you're using on your machine. It can have a negative impact on how the assets are arranged depending on where you import it and what specific hardware you're using. I created this dot sensor panel file in Photoshop. Stick around to the end if you want a time lapse on how I did it. So once I saved everything, I restarted AS64 and the scaling issue came about. Luckily, I took a screenshot of where the original asset coordinates were so that if any scaling issues came about, I knew exactly how to get them back on track and where they're supposed to be. And that's the key, downloading a dot sensor panel file that has a coordinate map attached to it. It's not pretty. In fact, it's probably the worst way to do it. Moderators over on the Ada 64 forum, they suggested that going into the system files where Ada 64 is located and enabling high DPI scaling override could fix the issue. But I still haven't figured out how to do that. So for now, the way that I do it works for me. So much so that if you want to try this yourself, you can go to arisha.tech and download this layout absolutely free. The download includes the dot sensor panel file, the original assets, and a coordinate map to make sure that if you do have any scaling issues, you'll be able to put everything where it's supposed to be. Just add the YouTube example layout to your cart, use the promo code AO100 at checkout and receive 100% off. Boom. Is that a real offer? That's a real offer, them real EMs. Once you've gone through the process, leave a review and let me know how your shopping experience was. So if there's anything that I need to change or get better, I'll be able to make that on future updates. We are going to be constantly adding new layouts to the store. From my cursory internet searches, I haven't found any site on the entire World Wide Web that sells custom dot sensor panel files for Ada 64. This is the first. And I can definitely keep going with the help from you, the community. If you like what they include with the files, let me know. If you don't like it, let me know how I can make it better. Hate for the sake of hate without constructive criticism is just unnecessary and counterproductive. Ada 64 is not a free software. Beyond the 30 day free trial that they offer, there is a $40 one time licensing fee. However, given how much I I switch my stat panel up, I think it's well worth the $40. That's up for you to decide. There are free options. They don't offer the level of customization that I found with Ada 64 combined with the ease of use, but it's definitely a way around paying the $40. If you're asking my opinion, just save up the 40, it's worth it. Head over to the store, arisha.tech, to pick up your free layout today. Check out with the promo code AO100 to get 100% off. And if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing. And like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, here's the time lapse of how I created this sensor panel.
Thank you.